Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're enjoying it. Now, guys, I'm back with another excited video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a melting object inside this Anno 4D. So, without choosing any plugin. So, let let me show you what we're gonna create. So, let's see. So, as you can see, here, this is a simple, um, simple scene we're gonna create inside this Anno 4D. Okay, first open Anno 4D. So as you can see here, this is a project file. I also mention it. So I also put the link under description for project file. So this is really simple and straightforward. Okay, let's start. Yeah. So we just use this same skull for this. We just copy this skull object here. Yeah. Okay, we have this skull. So first, what we can do here, we just remove the, all these tags. So first, what we need to do, we just create a matrix, uh, matrix, and change matrix mode from grid array to object. And put your skull in your object. Just hide skull for now. So now as you can see here you have a matrix on your uh, 3d model surface so what we can do we just increase the count and we just take it to a uh, 300 so now we have our skull make it a little bit more 900 or 500 sorry 1500 so now we just Enable generate and click on thinking particles and hide, hide your matrix for now and go in simulation Go in thinking particle thinking particle setting and take your TP group here So we just Take it there for we use it later. So now we use a volume measure Volume measure here we go volume builder for and in volume builder just drag and drop this particle group and as you can see here now you have uh, this uh, small dots looking object this is a volume of your what we say geometry so what we are gonna do here we just change your five Voxel size to 5 we increase more matrices so we just take it to a 5000 maybe so don't make it too much or we just change it to okay 5000 okay we just uh, decrease the size of our 3d object so as you can see so here we go so we decrease it a little bit more or we just add more geometry we just change it to a 9000 so a little bit more add a 10,000 so we just hide our coin simulation thinking particle we just hide this tick for now use color none so now as you can see here we have something but it's not look really good so that's a little bit problem so uh, when you add object so you don't get a uh, too accurate geometry if you want to get too accurate geometry you need to increase more voxel size or it depends on your computer uh, power so I, I don't do this so, because I'm okay with that so I just decrease it a little bit more so as you can see here it's looking okay for me so what we can do next go in your volume builder and add SDF smooth and see you can see here what it's do so next thing we just change it to add 2 so or 3 maybe and add more matrices matrix 
account so we just change it to a 15,000 let's see what's happen so here we go so we just decrease the STF as smoothness the trend so it's looking okay for me so I'm just giving you an idea how you can do that so for next we just apply any material from you the regular one so we first need to convert it into a mesh so we use volume measure here we go we just disable color channel remove and add just reflection with a fernal conductor and gold so we just add simple add a sky create a material for our sky we use HDRI link luminance so here we go we use this one and we go in render tag compositing and scene by camera let's disable it so as you can see here we have something but it's not looking really well so what we can do here so as you can see now it's looking little bit good So we just rotate our sky a little. Okay, it's looking great. So next thing, what we can do here, uh, we can use a uh, expressor tag. We just create a null, add a pro go in programming tag, add a expressor. So stay. So now what we need to do here, we just need to add a P pass and we need to add a P force sorry P force object. So we're gonna use the gravity and turbulence for our these particles. So go back to simulate thinking particle thinking particle settings click on p pass and here you see you need to add a group of your particles just add this group and now it's gonna react with our these uh, particles so what we can do here we just add a simulation force and we gonna use a gravity here like this and we just also add our turbulence so there we go so now if you hit play let's see what's happen so because we have too much geometry that's why it's too slow so as you can see here it's going down now so what we gonna do here, we just decrease the voxel, uh, increase the voxel size for now, but we decrease it when we render it. So as you can see here, nothing, and we just change it to a 9 for now. Eight. For showing you what we gonna do here, so, we, so as you can see here, it's, uh, our gravity and turbulence is effect on that, but this is not what we want so what we're gonna do here we're gonna increase the acceleration from 250 to 250 100 and the trend to maybe 20 and a little bit scale so now we use the main thing of follow and we're gonna use a linear follow for that and we use the same follow for post so we don't get confused about our settings so we just make it like a, a little bigger there we go so go in coordinates and make it bigger like that and here we go 
so as you can see here now we just increase the frame rate frame so if you hit play nothing happened now but we need as you can see here when we take our follow here so it's gonna work so as you can see here it's gonna melt down your object but we need to add a more gravity for giving them more strength so we just change it to from 2500 to a 5000 so let's see how it reacts so let's react too fast because let's see now so as you can see here So what we gonna do here now we just animate our uh, linear field so what we can how we can do that so we just take our linear field here and add a keyframe and on the 120 frame or 130 so just take it there and add a keyframe now we animate our so there is a cool thing inside the what we say inside the volume builder uh, inside the art one they add a catch mode so you can catch your whole volume so hold your volume volume animation so you don't need to uh, what we say force your computer to use more power so we just click on animate and 113 and click on catch So our catch is finished if we now hit play so it's gonna use our catch and it's a bit more faster so as you can see here when our linear field hit our so that's uh, great that's how you can create a melting object so but there is little problem it's not uh, you don't get accurate geometry so for that uh, i hope uh, this is a bit thick step i need to tell you i hope in future i find more ways to create a more accurate geometry so i hope you like this video if you didn't subscribe my channel subscribe it chat don't go forget to hit like button thanks for watching bye bye